Hi, in this video we will see how to enroll an iOS device using the QR code. This assumes that you have completed the APNS upload part, created a device profile and created a QR code configuration. Now we have the QR code configuration and for the sake of demo I have taken an iOS device which is already supervised. If you want to know how to make the device supervised you can go ahead and uh, watch our supervised devices uh, video to understand how to use Apple configurator to make your device supervised. This device that I am demoing is already supervised. So now let me launch a camera on the device. The first step is to launch camera on the device. I launch the camera. I point it towards the QR code that's there on the dashboard. Once pointed on the dashboard, you would see a pop-up which would say open mobilog.in in Safari. Go ahead and click on that pop-up. It will go ahead and show you a dialog which would say that this app is trying to allow settings. Go ahead and click on allow. You will see a pop-up which will give you the basic details about the profile that is going to be installed. Go ahead and click on install. Follow the on-screen instructions and click on install again. Now, once it is on the dashboard, you would just see uh, a, a dialog which would warn you that what is going to happen. This will tell you that uh, the devices will be controlled by uh, a URL. Now, in this video, the URL that you see is our testing URL, but in production, you would see mobilog.ir. Go ahead and click on install. Click on trust. Now, this will complete the onboarding process. Now, if all goes smooth that is if you have a valid mobilog account the licenses are there or you're in trial period the profile would be applied and once the profile is applied you would see that uh, the profile that we had applied we had allowed only app store home and the safari app they start appearing here and we had allowed calculator in the second page and that's why the calculator is here now the options of phone and settings cannot be controlled on iOS devices so they do appear irrespective of the option. Now let's go ahead and see what has happened on the dashboard. If you go ahead and click on the devices section on the dashboard, dashboard you should see uh, the newly registered device with the naming convention that you gave. If you click on view details it gives you the details of the device that is registered. We had selected a prefix of Acme with the IME number. The device is named accordingly. You can see the basic information about the device, like the amount of battery, whether it's supervised or not, the IME number, the MAC address, and the OS version. You can check out more device information in the full device information, which gives you various other information. This we will ex explore in the device details video. For now, this completes the enrollment process on the device. To confirm, you can go onto the settings app, click under general, scroll down to the device management. Here you can see the various restrictions that have been applied. From this point, any changes that you make to the device profile, like for example, let me allow an app. Let me try and allow or disable Safari for the time being. So I had Safari enabled. I'll disable Safari, I'll go to the restriction, make sure Safari is disabled here and I'll update the profile. Now once the profile update is done, it is pushed and as you can see Safari got disabled. This is how you unroll a device. Please watch out other videos for various other options of the devices and profile that you can use. Thank you.